What's up guys, we're back on Pokemon Showdown and this time we're gonna go to the OU tier and as always, if you guys do enjoy these Pokemon Showdown lives, then leaving a like helps a ton, so I'm gonna be using this Mega C Black Hero and Black team which Envy made for me and let's grab a battle with this team and I'm gonna pause until I find a battle. So I found this game and uh, this guy has a pretty interesting team I would say. He has Mega Medicham and uh, Thunder ST which you don't really see, so I'm gonna lead off with my Mega C Black or Sableye actually, as he leads up with this Thunderous and uh, I can just click knockoff honestly as uh, I know he's gonna go for the Volt Switch and go into his Heatran or maybe his Azumarill but he goes into his Heatran and uh, I knock off his leftovers so I'm gonna go into my Starmie as he gets up his Stealth Dogs that's fine with me and uh, I don't really lose too much by clicking Scald as he goes into his own Azumarill, if I can get a burn, it would be really nice. I do! That's fantastic. So, I can just click Rapid Spin. And, uh... I can get rid of the Stealth Rocks as he goes for the knockoff. And I don't want people talking here. So, he goes into his Breloom and... I'm gonna go into my Mega Sableye. As he makes a nice double, goes into his Heatran. Fine with me. Um, just gonna go into my Kyurem Black. As he goes to the Stealth Rocks. Doesn't really have any kind of switch in to Kyurem B. And uh, I can just click Earth Bar and do damage to something. Goes into Landris. That's. I'm not sure what kind of play that is. I mean, I could have clicked Ice Beam. I'm gonna click Ice Beam because I know he's gonna go for the U-turn. He's not even Choice Scarf. Why did he bring this thing in? I'm not sure why. He brought his Lander ST just to die. So, in comes his Medicham and uh, once again make us a black and blue lead walls this thing unless he has something crazy nope he has zen headbutt and i can just go for the recover as most likely he's gonna go into his heatran goes into his uh, thunderous i can actually just click metal burst and do damage to that heatran yep i do have metal burst <laughs> for some reason and that does so much damage holy crap that's pretty nice. And because he does not have leftovers, he's not gonna recover any kind of HP. So... He's gonna go for the Lava Plume. Actually, he goes for the Toxic. That's fine. I can just go for the Rapid Spin once again. Get rid of the Stealth Rocks. He's gonna go for the Stealth Rocks until I kill him, I guess. So he dies, and I think this Thunderous is Choice Scarf. He goes into his Mega Medicham, and uh, he might go for the Fake Out. Actually, I can live one Fake Out, but I don't want these Stealth Rocks on my side. I'm actually gonna go into my Landris T as he goes into his Breloom, and. I'm sure he's gonna go for the Bullet Seed or the Seed Bomb. I can actually just go for the Stealth Rocks here. As he goes for the Spore, that's fine. I don't really need my Lander ST either way. And I can just go into my Mega Sableye as he goes for the Focus Punch. I have a Mega Sableye. Why would you go for the Focus Punch? I can go for the Recover as he has Bullet Seed. That's probably gonna take me out, yep. Takes me out and uh, let's see what I can go into. I can just go into Magnezone. I can easily eat out one Mach Punch. I actually doubt if he has Mach Punch or not. He has Focus Punch, Spore, Bullet Seed and probably Rock Tomb. Just gonna click Flash Cannon here as uh, he's gonna go into his Azumarill, sack that thing to this Flash Cannon. It does like no damage to me 
and uh, he goes into his Mega Medicham. Um, I do have my Sleeping Landers T. I can just make use of this thing, I guess. And uh, he goes for the High Jump Kick, and pretty sure he has Ice Punch. Just gonna go into my Azumaru as uh, he does go for the Zen Head, but actually misses. That's unfortunate. I guess he does not have Ice Punch. Then I can click player off, and uh, at this point, he doesn't really have any kind of switch into Azumaru. He just forfeits. That's nice. Let's get one more game. And uh, this guy has a pretty weird looking team. He has Shaman. Bliscor and probably Mega Charizard X, I'm guessing. Can be Mega Charizard Y, but I'm not sure. I think this is Mega Charizard X. So he's gonna lead off with this Gliscor, I guess. Or actually, he leads off with this Jirachi, which is also pretty good for me, as uh, I can just click Knockoff here. He's most likely gonna go into Club Fable so that uh, he can wall my Sableye, I guess. But yeah, I can just go for the knockoff. I'm gonna start the timer. We don't really have time around here to make our moves quickly. Not sure why this guy's taking so long. He goes into his Charizard. That's a fine play, I guess. Um. I think I can just go into my Azumarill as um, he is actually Mega Charizard X and um, doesn't really have any kind of Azumarill, solid Azumarill switch in. Jirachi I'm pretty sure gets to it KO'd by Waterfall. Um, I'm just gonna go for the Waterfall which is my safest play as he goes into Shim. If I'd gone for the player up this thing would have got blown back. I can just go into my Kieran Black, honestly. He has nothing for Kieran Black. And I know he's gonna go into his Jirachi on my Kieran Black, so I can just click Earth Bar. And uh, do a lot of damage to that thing. I should have gone to the player up, but I like to play safe on like first few turns. He misses a seed player. And I know he's gonna go into his Jirachi. So. Go for the earth bar. Yep, he does go into Shirachi. Looking at the damage, the choice scarf, I guess. Yep. And this thing is pretty much weakened. And uh, let's see if I can trap this thing if he goes for something like Iron Head. Yep. I think I'm gonna trap this thing. He goes for the U turn. That's fine. I guess Gliscor is coming in now. Or even Mega Charizard X. Yep, goes into Mega Charizard X. I do have my uh, Rocky Hillman Landers T for this thing. Now, at this point, he doesn't have anything for Kiron Black. Kiron Black completely crushes his team. I guess he can go into Sclafable, but nowadays, I don't think anyone runs. Um, especially defensive Clefable with like 96 Padef EVs. So, um, pretty sure this thing gets annihilated by Ice Beam. And he goes for the Flare Blitz, takes himself out because I do have Rocky Helmet and uh, that's one threat down. Envy really likes to use Rocky Helmet Landris T, but it's pretty good. I like Rocky Helmet on Landris T. can always do nice damage to stuff like Mega Metagross, Mega Lopunny, and of course Mega Charizard. I think I'm gonna pause until he makes his move. Never mind, he goes into Starmie. That was his only play he could have made. And uh, at this point, do I need my Magnazone for something on his team? Probably not. It goes for the Hydro Pump, takes me out, that's fine, and I can just go into Kiram Black, go for the Fusion Bolt, 
just to play it safe, um, he's gonna go into Skull Table. Pretty sure. Starmie cannot really knock me out from this range of HP, and uh, I can always roost up on his Blitz Core as well as his uh, Shaman. Pretty sure Kieran Black completely wins me this game. This thing is really good. Why is he taking so much time? He literally has one play to make. That is to go into Clefable or sack Jirachi. Goes into Clefable and... Alright, does nice damage. Um, I can just go into my Azumarill. Oh, wow. Yes, T-Wave. And this thing is gonna die, yep. If I had gone for the player of turn 1, or turn 2 actually, this thing would have died. Once again, he only has one play to make, that is to go into Jirachi and hopefully like para flinch me, but I'm not gonna stay in. So he goes into Jirachi and like I said, this thing is dying to Rocky Helmet if he goes for uh, any kind of move. Yep, he dies, and uh, Starmie's coming out now. Um, I think I can just... Let's see, if, if I sack this thing... I'm not sure if I want to sack this thing or not. Just gonna go into my own Starmie here, because I want to keep my Lander's T just for his Clefable so that uh, I can do some damage with EQ if I need to. Um, he goes for the Ice Beam. He might have T-Bolt, or he might have HP Fire actually. No, there's no reason why he would run HP Fire when he has Charizard X with Flare Blitz. He probably has T-Bolt, Hydro Pump, T-Bolt, Ice Beam, Rapid Spin? Nope. He does not have T-Bolt, I guess. He goes into his Clefable, and uh, I can go into my Azumarill, just click Play Rough, do a lot of damage, and pretty much win from there. He stays in, and uh, I get paralyzed, which is always fun. Um, play Rough is a bit stronger yep gonna go for the player off hopefully i did not get paralyzed please yep nice and uh pretty much win now with uh Kieran black now that his coffee is down goes into gliscor um i'm gonna go into my Sableye as he goes for the knockoff. And <laughs> what do I do to this thing? Like, I cannot do anything to him, and he cannot do anything to me. Just gonna sack my Azumarill. I'm not sure why I went into my Mega Sableye in the first place. I'm gonna go into my Kiron Black and click Ice Beam. I guess he can go into Star Me, but that thing. Is not gonna eat up this ice beam. Goes into Stormy, I get a crit, and uh, he dies to he dies to that life of damage. Yep, and uh, Kieran Black is gonna finish off this Gliscor. This thing used to be so much annoying in like early X and Y and Gen Five. Alright, so once again, this guy takes like 10 minutes to go into Skliscor just to die to this Ice Beam. I'm gonna find one more game. Got this game. Now hopefully this guy like clicks some kind of move so that he dies. Yep, he dies. And uh, let's get into this game. He has Mega Manectric, which gets like walled by my Kieran Black, honestly. Kieran Black is so bulky. I can see him leading off with his Scizor or uh, his Tornadus. So that's why I think I'm gonna lead off with my with my Azumarill 
as he leads off with his Tornadus, and um, I can just go for the Waterfall here, as uh, he might go into his um, Scizor, I guess. Yep, he does go into his Scizor, and uh, I think now he's gonna go for the U-turn and go into Skyrim Black. I'm just gonna go into my Flanders team so that I can get the Rocky Elma damage on him. Goes into Skyrim Black directly. Alright. I don't have any kind of like switch into this thing. My only counter to Kyrum Black is my own Kyrum Black. So, I'm gonna go into my Magma Zone. Hopefully, he does not predict and blow me back with the Earth Bar. I'm hoping he doesn't. Let's see what he does. He goes into this Tornadus and uh, I'm actually in a really tough situation because if I go for the Volt Switch then his Manectric is going to get the plus one boost if he brings in his Manectric and uh, I think Kyrum Black is able to take on a plus one Manectric actually. Kyrum Black is really bulky. I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch as he actually goes for the Focus Blast and misses. I'm not sure if that Focus Blast would have killed me because... Uh, a Solvus Tornadus does not run max special attack, and uh, my Magnezone was at full HP. I can just go into a Sumeril and uh, click player off and something dies now. Hopefully he does not go into this Landers T. Stays in, goes for the Hurricane, this thing is dying. Goes into Skyrim Black, which means that he does have Fusion Bolt, and... Can just go into Magna Zone. Actually, he's gonna go for the Earth Bar. That's his best play. Goes for the Iron Head. All right. I think he's gonna go into his Manectric, so I can just go into my own Kyrum Black. Nice, nice, nice. He doesn't really have any kind of switch into this thing. The Scizor is already weakened, so uh, I mean, I can just click Ice Beam here. If he goes into Salatine, that would be really nice. So he goes into his Lander's T, that's not a switching, and he dies. Alright, nice. So that's one less thing which could come in on my Magna Zone, I guess. He goes into Talonflame, I'm not letting this thing get weakened. Uh, wait, I can just go into my Lander's T here. As uh, it goes for the Brave Bird, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is banded damage. I can click Stealth Rocks because it uh, doesn't have any kind of way to get rid of those things. I, I guess he has Defog on his Scissor, I'm pretty sure. But he goes into the Skirm Black. Um, I have a feeling that he's gonna go for the Earth Bar here. Um, expecting me to go into my own Magna Zone. Um, at this point, I don't really need my Mega Sable. I can just sack this thing. He got what? He has free shock. I think this guy actually might be a god. He, he's not even running Par Herb. Uh, oh, he misses. I really wanted him to hit so that I can I can show him my Metal Burst. But uh, I guess now he's gonna go into Sound Flame or something. Maybe his mana trick goes for the freeze shock once again. <laughs> oh my god, this guy he has choice bandit freeze shock. Choice bandit freeze shock. This guy is trying to completely destroy this planet with this set. Choice bandit Kiram B with freeze shock. Just amazing. Gone. 
and he forfeits. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for this shot. I'm like, I still cannot get over choice manage free shot. It's like running choice spec solar beam with septile and uh, yeah, I don't really get it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this live. If you did, make sure to leave a like and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.